Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm your host Cookie Simmer and today we are doing the Bridges LP part 13 I think? 13, 12, 13, somewhere around in there. Pretty sure it's 13. Not quite sure though but we're almost at 20. Halfway to 20. Yes, 20 parts if I can get it done you know. I'll just be going too slow with this LP. Anywho, not the point. Uh, the point is, is that today we are supposed to be having uh, Kaylin and mom head to the bakery and get all the baking done so that we can actually have a nice a bakery a going because I'm sure you guys are ready to see the bakery in full action but uh, Kaylin's gonna go chat with Alec and hang out with him because he wants to hang out so they're gonna go hang out together because he's feeling embarrassed because he had a parent counselor meeting he said, suddenly being kept after school sounds like not the worst thing in the world. Hmm. That stinks, man. And then he has an unpleasant surrounding because no one cleans around here. And now he's feeling angry because he's always angry because he's just an angry boy sometimes. But actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and have Terry just go into because she's a very neat sim so I'm kind of surprised she's let her house get this get this way but she's gonna go into like a cleaning frenzy and just clean everything because she can't stand it so I'm gonna have her do that and I actually think I'm just gonna cut this part out of the video and just come back to you guys in the next day when we're actually at the bakery since it's almost nighttime anyway so I'm just gonna cut out and then cut back in when it's when we're actually at the bakery so I will just see you guys there but what will probably happen off camera is that Kaylin's gonna work on another book and mom's just gonna clean because the house is a hot freaking mess so and I'm gonna actually have Enrique work hard he doesn't have any friends at all maybe he's just trying to make friends at work I'm gonna have him socialize at work and then after she finished talking to Alec I'm gonna have her go in and nope not take a shower I'm gonna have you come in here work on the computer come on there we go she's gonna come right and resume writing the adventures of curly whirly part one so, I will see you guys in the morning, next morning, at the bakery. And hopefully we'll already have stuff made. So, that's what we're going to do. Bye, guys. See you when we get back. Alright, everyone. So, we have finally made it to the bakery that we have been meaning to come to for a while. Of course, Terry is so, so, so excited to be here and to just be able to do what she loves, which is bake and do other things of the housey home cooking things and you know Kayla's just here to help and supervise and whatnot actually you know what I'm gonna put in another stove I'm gonna put in another stove well actually Kaylin can just make ice cream while her mom makes actual desserts but I'm probably gonna put in another stove so that Kaylin can help out but um you know she's hugging her mom oh she's hugging her mom because she's so happy for her she knows this is what she wants oh you guys gonna hug hug Aww, she's so happy for her. This is her first time seeing the bakery, and she thinks it is so adorable. Okay, so, um, she's just basically congratulating her, and she's taking a picture with her to commemorate the first day at the bakery, but she's going to craft some ice cream and sell, she's gonna sell some pistachio ice cream, and mom is gonna come over here and cook up some not whatever that is, clean up that, and we are going to bake some, let's just bake something kind of regular. We're gonna bake some blueberry bagels, and then we're gonna put them both up for sale. The ice cream really shouldn't take that long, so uh, we'll probably be making ice cream a lot faster than we'll be making anything else. So we're just speeding things up here to get things going. We had some things that were pre-made already, but I think the household ate them, so I'm just remaking it. Okay, so the carton is in her, and we're gonna put it in here. We're gonna set it for sale. Awesome. And I think actually Terry has it in her inventory. Here we go, yay, it's in her inventory. Oh man, it's spoiled. Oh crap. This sucks. Spoiled. Freaking fart. Of course I ruined it. It's spoiled, guys. It's spoiled. 
heads up it's spoiled so now I have to clean up everything because I spoiled it I'm sorry Terry I didn't mean to spoil your food your good food that went to waste I'm sorry and she's gonna craft some more ice cream she's gonna craft some lemon gelato and I think we're just gonna open the store open the store and we're gonna have Terry sit out these blueberry bagels out front and we're gonna set them for sale. We're not gonna eat them. Don't eat them. God, have you lost your mind, Terry? I will kill you. Anywho, <laughs> we're gonna have Terry open up the store. Open. Open store. And let's see if we can set the prices. Um, we're just gonna leave it at a normal markup. Um, we don't have any things or anything like that. We don't have any perks or anything like that yet because we haven't made anything really. But, um, and then we're going to set out some more ice cream for sale. And is anybody in here yet? No, no one's here. So I'm going to have Terry go back and bake some more. She's going to bake some peanut butter cookies. I thought it would be fun to sell some ice cream, so that's why I got the ice cream machine out. I mean, why not? I hardly even use this machine because I forget about it in all honesty. And all oh, Alex grades is up. He is now a C student. <laughs> that's good. He was failing. He really didn't care, though, but he was really failing. So I'm so proud of him. Oh, look at, look at Terry whipping it up in the kitchen. Hey, whip it, girl. Whip that. Whip them bake. I mean, cookies. Yes. Okay. So actually, while I'm thinking about it, um, while we were gone for that short period of time, Kaylin leveled up her writing skill to level seven, I think. Yeah, and Alec and his father spent some time together. It was really nice. It was real cute. You know. And she's gonna set out some more gelato because she's a good kid and she helps her mother. She helps her madre so much. We opened the business, right? No one's come in yet, like at all. Like at all, like no one's here. But we have stuff for sale though. Why aren't you buying, homie? Okay, um, maybe we need to purchase some advertising. I'm gonna purchase um, a short-term television ad just to get some people in the door, I think. Um, real quick, like. Yeah, you can't go back there. Don't try to go back there, because you can't go back there. Like, it's blocked to everyone but you. Like, you don't need to be back there. Just look at my product that's out front. Thank you. And we are going to... Where's the customer? Retail. We are going to answer her questions. And we are going, wait, Terry, don't eat that. Don't eat that, Terry. I will kill you. I will kill you. Okay, so she made some cookies, too. So we're going to put those out front. Yay. She's cooking a lot faster than I expected her to. So we're just going to put that out there and set them for sale. And we're just going to have... Kaylin keep talking up the customer. Hopefully she'll buy something. Running a store is really tedious in The Sims. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't remember if it was this tedious when we were doing it in The Sims 2. Because I know The Sims 2 definitely had stores. And The Sims 3 had stores too. I think. They didn't. I don't really think it had like stores per se. It more so had like items that you could sell. Cause I know you could have like a junk shop and you could also have like a, um, what is it called? You could be a fashion designer and do people's clothes and then you could be a, um, what is it called? You could have a, um, a private, you could be like a private eye or whatever it's called. Um, you know, an investigator. There we go. You could be an investigator. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Holy poo nuggets. Oh my god, where did all these people come from? I guess that um, ad campaign worked. Okay. 
So we're just gonna try and talk to everybody. Greet him. Greet her. Oh, Nicole is here. She actually texted us earlier and asked her to come out, but we told her that we were working and helping our mom with her new store. And so I guess she came by to, you know, see what was up. It's so sweet. Our good friend came over. You know, she's part of the Riders Club with us, and I think in the next part we're going to ask the her to come over and hang out and whatnot and write with us some more so we can finish this book because Kaylin really wants to start a new book. I don't really think she's feeling the one that she's working on. So we may actually scratch it and start another one, but I really don't want to scratch it because it's we've been working so hard on it, but at the same time, it you know, if she's not feeling it, like, that's real life. If you're a writer and you're not feeling what you're writing, you're more than likely going to scrap it and start all over from the beginning. So I think we're probably just going to scrap it because that makes more sense. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to start another book, but I don't even know what we're going to start. Maybe she just didn't like the plot or something like that. <sighs> that's really sad, though. Like, that's really sad. Like, we were so close to finishing that book. Like, I don't want to, you know, just scrap it. It sucks. I feel the pain. I feel writer's pain right now. It's not even my real pain. Well, I mean, it kind of is. I've tried to write some, a couple of things a couple of times with some classes and things like that. And it never really worked out. I never really, like, liked what I'm writing. So, I, I feel her pain. I feel it. Okay. Clara is wondering if she wants to go over to her house and hang out. We cannot right now, Clara. We are working. But I will definitely hang out with you tomorrow. We will catch up, girl, and I can show you. No, stop cooking. You cooked enough already. Okay, so um, let's help these customers get out here, Claire. I mean, Terry, and help these darn customers. Greet customers, talk to people. Oh, she's ready to check out. Ring up customer. Holy crap. No, stop, stop. You got to ring her up before she leaves. Ring her up. Ring her up, Terry. Ring her up. Terry, ring her up. Terry, ring her up. Have you lost your mind? Why are you cooking right now? This is the worst time ever to cook. There's so many people here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get over here and ring people up. Ring her up. Ring her up before I kill you. I will kill you. Okay. I'm very violent with my sims. They never listen. They just don't listen. They just don't. It's annoying. And I'm like, you need to do what you gotta do, but you don't be doing it. Ring her up, Terry. Ring her up. Thank you. Okay. Now, you come over here and ring her up before she leaves. Thank you very much. Ring her up. Girl, ring her up. This is what's annoying about Okay, she's ringing her up. Thank you. So we have earned a good, I don't know, how much have we, oh no. We can see it in the in the report when we get ready to leave. Okay, I think we're about to close because we just sold out of pretty much everything that we had. We only had four items. Okay, we're going to make this one last sale and then we're going to head home because everybody's kind of hungry and tired. So we're going to ring him up and then we're going to leave because that's all we have left in the store anyway. Thank you. Awesome. So now Kaylin's going to close the store. Going to close the store and we're going to view our, because we have nothing left. So we have no items for sale right now. Okay. So we sold five items and got a total of $172. Our advertising was $600. So we didn't even break even. We only made like, we didn't, <laughs> we're in the red. We negative 428 that stinks but I still think we did pretty good today we literally sold everything so um the ice cream doesn't sell for much so maybe we won't sell much ice cream anymore um I don't know if we're gonna restock can we restock food items man it costs 44 dollars to just restock an item it's cheaper to just make it all over again I guess <clears throat> but actually I think we're gonna have Terry come over here and after she gets done eating her ice cream, we're gonna get over here and make some minty mocha cupcakes. Um, Kaylin can head home. 
because there's really nothing left for her to do today. But her mom appreciates her help so much. It means a lot. And because of her, we were able to make, well, actually sell all the food today. So really happy about that. I'm just going to put these in the fridge because I think the fridge gives them like a shelf life of like three or four days possibly set for sale. Nope. You ain't going nowhere. You're going to make some more cupcakes before you leave today. And then I think that's probably where we're going to leave off after this. I'll remake make some more items. You know, this is the life of a cook. This is what goes on. This is what happens. This is how you get down. You spend hours slaving over a hot stove. And then you got to spend even more hours slaving over a hot stove again. It's how it works. It's how the world works, guys. It's realistic. Don't come for me. Can people not use our bathrooms? Like, why is she going all the way over there to use the bathroom when we have a bathroom just, like, right over the next area? Except for so. No. Why are you going all the way over there? Just use our bathroom. Like, that's what it's for. Use. And then I want you to come over here and make some more cupcakes because I ain't got time. Ooh, we can bake pastries. I've never really used this machine before. Ooh, I want to make cream-filled donuts. Yes, cream-filled donuts. <laughs> cream-filled donuts are the best. Don't even try it. Okay, and we're going to make two more things, and then we're going to head home. Enrique's going to be like, uh, babe, why are you gone so long? She'll be like, Ugh. I have a business to run. <laughs> okay, she's gonna bake some um, powdered donuts and some cream tarts. I'm just so fascinated with everything that I can make with this machine because I haven't seen it before. We're gonna make some, it really doesn't take that long to make anything on the cupcake machine. So I think we're gonna make more things on the cupcake machine, but I still wanna make like cakes and stuff like that and set them out. I actually wanna make a cake and set it out. Is this set for sale? Is this one set for sale? Is this one set for sale? No, you're not sleeping. It's not time to sleep, it's time to work, 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 work. Work, 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 Okay, anyway, not the point, get copyrighted over here in these streets. Ain't nobody got time for that. And we're going to make a few more just to make stuff so that we are prepared for tomorrow. So all we have to do is come in and open up the store and get started. Because I like, okay, we'll make one more because I at least want to have one case full. Set for sale. Um, I think also the problem was is that we didn't have like, we didn't have the them spread out. We had them all in one case so everyone was just kind of like crammed in one area but I don't know that doesn't really bother me sorry girl you can't sleep yet I'm gonna have you work till you need dead 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 and salmon croquets and then you can leave work 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 okay and gonna put that not there Gonna put that in the thing. I wonder how long it stays. It stays for 19 days in the machine. Okay, that's nice. Um, so we're just gonna have her head home now and then when we get back, I'm just gonna probably sign you guys out since we spent the day at the bakery and our time is almost up, guys. And she's like starving and she's just overall exhausted from her first day. Like she didn't think it was gonna be this hard to run a business, but little did she know it's kicking her butt. Because not only does she have to bake everything that you see, she has to put it out, she has to sell it, she has to restock it, and you know, just keep things coming so that people keep coming to her store. And then we spent money on adverti advertisements too, which honestly isn't that great. Oh, and I hired a maid while you guys were gone, so. Terry thought that she wouldn't have time to clean the house as much as she normally does that she'd be slacking especially with the new business so she decided to just hire a maid and be done with it but she's walking her kind of like sad well not sad because her first day was good it wasn't horrible but she's just exhausted in all senses of the term so we're gonna have her go home go home little fella go home and i'll see you guys back at the house 
Okay guys, so we're back at the house and Terry is just gonna go straight upstairs and go to bed because she is super duper tired and we're just gonna have her go upstairs and go sleep. And actually, I wanna change Kaylin's wardrobe, but we're gonna do that next part. Cause I think the next part's probably gonna be more about Kaylin rather than, you know, her mom. Since this LP is supposed to be based off Kaylin anyway, cause she's like my main character. But um, I wanna change her into some winter clothes because I have the new winter mod out. Hey, hey boo, I see you. Looking in the mirror at yourself, I see you boo. I see you, Alec. Don't try to play me. I see <laughs> I see you. <laughs> totally taking the screenshot. This is hilarious. Oh my god. He was totally checking himself out for a good 10 minutes. Taking that picture. Alec. He thinks he's cute stuff. Like, he thinks he's everything now that he got his grades up. And that he has kind of like, I feel like he thinks that he has a chance with that girl. What's her name? Ashley. She came over while you guys were gone to that night. She came over that night, last night, and he hung out with her. And I think he really does think he has a chance with her. And he, <laughs> he's living for it. He's just like happy with life right now, which I'm so happy he is because he was so depressed when we first started this LP. <clears throat> but anywho, not the point. Um... The point is, is that in the next part, we're going to be hanging out with Kaylin. We'll probably go over to the bakery for a couple hours just to sell everything that we need. And then we're going to have Kaylin work on her book. And I think actually not the next part, but the part after the next part, I think part like what, 14 is it? Um, we're probably going to have Kaylin move out and we're probably going to have Kaylin be on her own. I know, it's so scary. She's going to be on her own. She's just a little, she's just a little bird. I feel like she's too young to be on her own, but you know, she's an adult. She's making her own revenue. She's making about $488, um, a book. And when she makes her new book, she's going to be getting even more, hopefully if it sells for anything. So, you know, she's moving on up there. She's has enough to live on her own. So I think I'm going to let her do what to do. And just have her mom and dad do what they do. And hopefully Alec won't hate us too much for moving out. But, you know, she needs her own life. She feels like she needs her own life. She's ready to move out. She's making money now. She's actually doing things with her life unlike her mom thought she was going to do. And she's ready to go. But with that being said, like I said, next part. All about her. And we're going to change her clothes because it's winter time. But... <clears throat> Anywho, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video if you like this LP. And not to mention, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I don't know if I said that. But anywho, subscribe because you know you want to. Because I'm hilarious. Who doesn't love the scenery on their LPs? Anyway, not the point. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.